Hello, my name is Craig Basher. I'm an application engineer with Advanced Solutions. Today I want to show you how I can create decals in Autodesk Showcase. And the decals that I'm going to use are just images that come right from the web. So here I have an image that I just took from a web page. Now you notice that this image has a white background and when I use a white background and create a decal or a logo with Inside Showcase it creates a black background. Here I'm just going to use Control M to edit that background. Notice that I have the white here and all I did is path that. Now what you could do is you could change that black background to white and it changes the logo. But really what I want is the logo of the train without the white background that you see here. So I want the color of the Purdue logo without that. Now to do that I'm actually going to use a free program called GIMP. G -I -M -P. And I'm going to take and open my logo in there. Now to start off with I'm going to create a layer. Now these layers allow me to make multiple looks of the same image. So let's just duplicate the layer and I'm going to turn off my main layer. Now what I'm going to do is I use a tool called the magic wand and pick in the white area. Now that white area selects the white so if I were to change it it only changes the white. So I want to invert that so that I get the logo and the trademark. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut that piece out. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a new layer that will have a transparency background. So now I'm going to turn off that white background and then what I have to deselect the things that are in there and this I'm going to paste in that logo. Okay, So this is the piece that I'm going to use for the color portion. So what I want to do is now is deselect and then it will combine that into one layer. Now that copy background layer I really don't need it anymore so I'm going to remove it. But I also want to create a new background or a new layer or I could even use the one that I have here. Let's just do that. So I'm going to use the magic wand again. I'm going to do the same invert. But this time I'm going to get rid of that Purdue logo. And just delete it. And so I'm going to use my paintbrush here, or not my paintbrush, but my paint can to actually where the white is, make it black. So I'm going to invert that because in Showcase, black is basically transparent. So now I have those two. Now let's see. I want to actually export these guys out. You can see that I can turn on the visibility of both layers together, but I really don't want the black. So I'm actually going to go and say I want to export this out as a TIFF file. So we'll save as. I'll call this one black, white, or bw.tif. For TIFF. And then when I hit save, it's actually going to ask me if I want to compress the file. And I'm going to say, no, I don't really want to compress it. The, the large file is fine. Now I'm going to turn off this layer, and then I'm going to turn on my color layer and actually use this as the good decal. So I'm going to save this as a TIFF file as well. So save as. You'll notice that it still saves it at TIFF, so I'm just going to call this one Color. All right, and it's going to ask me on the next one if I want to export the visible layers. Yes, that's fine, and then no compression. So now I have the two pieces that I need for a good showcase logo. Okay, so we're back in showcase here. Let's get rid of this old one. And what we're going to do is we're going to make a new one. So what we'll just do is pick on one that already exists and give it a new name. And we'll just call this one new. And now what I want to do is I actually want to actually edit this. But I'm going to pick on the solids here. And I'm going to hold down shift and pick those two. And then use control M to actually edit the actual logo. You know what it shows me the path here. So I'm actually going to go and repath this black and white logo to the one that we created before. But for the colored background, I'm going to use this, uh, the second image that I created. Whoop, put too far here. So let's go use the image. 
we'll go and pick on that image from our location and there but now what we want to do is we want to auto fit this so if we click on auto fit it's going to fit pretty good and then if I want to I could actually move the texture to actually manipulate it on the actual object now the different glips do different things the arrows stretch it or move it the little boxes can stretch it I can also change this to a cylinder shape a cylinder mapping and that way I can use these glips to rotate them 90 degrees um, instead of doing a full circle I would just take this and make it a partial circle and then rotate to the other side and all you're doing is kind of eyeing it you don't have to be exact because logos are not exact on, on objects usually Okay, so there I have that object. Let's scale it up and down. And then once I'm done with that, I can hit the stop moving button on here so that it, it's where I want it to be. But now what I want to do is kind of show uh, a highlight. I want to use the background or the environment lighting on this decal. So I'm going to turn on my clear coat and my reflectivity. And to kind of see that reflectivity, I'm going to actually kind of have to rotate it so you can see that. So I just click in the little area here and then I'll rotate this so that you can kind of see, there we go, the lighting that it's now reflecting. What a nice looking image. So now I can actually save this in my own little library if I want. To do that I just right click on the decal itself and just save it to a library. So that's my little tip today. If you need any uh, other help just give us a contact here at Advanced Solutions.